Back on Worldwide Wrestling as Super Brawl 8 is on the horizon. Brain, can you believe it? We're only one week out now. Next Sunday is the big event from the Cow Palace in San Francisco that our fans can see on Direct TV with Direct Ticket, cable TV with pay per view. Satellite Dish under Turner Premier available on the Dish Network. Bobby and Harvard, Bob, uh, Bobby Walker make their way out, but for Hogan and Sting to battle. Neither man, the world champion right now. One man will walk away, the world champion. So much focus, so much attention on this most important match in our sport. You know, in comes to most title matches, only one man has to win, and that's the champion. He doesn't have to beat the other guy to win anything. But in this one, there will be a winner, and one man will be crowned WCW World Heavyweight Champion. And I wonder, we saw the footage moments ago from Nitro, the problems that exist with Hogan and Savage, the problems that exist within the NWO. I wonder if there's going to be a little Savage payback coming up at Super Brawl when Hogan meets Sting. Savage and Loose Cannon, he's part of the NWO, but they obviously are falling apart, breaking apart before our very eyes. And that all happened when Hogan lost the title originally to Sting and Bret Hart showing up here at WCW. Since that time, Hogan and the NWO, they've lost it. The way you can see Super Brawl is by making that all-important telephone call and ordering this event. The event is available on Direct TV with Direct Ticket, available on pay-per-view. Satellite Dish Owners Turner Premier, or of course, the Dish Network. Hogan and Sting, the tip of the iceberg. Also, Luger and the Macho Man, Randy Savage, no disqualification. Diamond Dallas Page will go up against Chris Benoit for the U.S. Heavyweight title. And we'll also see Scott Steiner and Buff Bagwell all coming up at Super Roy next Sunday. You know, if you ask me to pick a winner, I'm going to have to go with Bob Eaton and hard work Bobby Walker. Look at this move. You know why? Because of the experience and the knowledge Bobby Eaton has in tag team wrestling. Look at Bobby Walker walking the ropes. Snap married him over that time. Walker. Very agile man to walk that top rope. Yes, he was. Back to the corner. Whips him in. Bobby Eaton, like you said, a plethora of tag team experience. And it took him a little while to agree to team with Bobby Walker, but they've agreed, and they're looking pretty darn good as a tag team. Well, Teddy Long put them together. You know, Teddy Long is a very respected manager in this sport. He won a lot of awards from the governor of Georgia and the mayor of Atlanta and different cities. And uh, he put this team together, and he's convinced Bobby Eaton here to give a hand to Bobby Walker. Snapmare over by... Gary Flynn, he drives the knee down to Bobby. Well, the NWO continues to move towards Super Brawl, mm -hmm. continues to have their problem. There's another problem, I would think, within the NWO, although they would ignore it, is the fact that Kevin Nash continues to powerbomb people with his jackknife powerbomb, continues to get fined at $50,000 a crack, maybe one fifty dollars a crack, depending on uh, how severe it is, I guess, and uh, that doesn't seem to bother anybody. That doesn't seem to bother Kevin Nash at all. Well, that's because Hogan's paying him. We're talking about all these Hollywood money that's floating around here. And he said, I'm with Hogan. He'll pay any fine I get. Well, Hogan is no dummy, as we know. He's a low life, but he's no dummy. And he didn't become as famous as he is and as rich as he is by being stupid. And he's not going to keep shelling out 50 grand at a crack because he's got some seven-foot-tall loose cannon that doesn't care about spending his money. That'll come to a halt someday. You can bet on that. I work Bobby Walker with a drop kick, and on the outside goes Mark Storr. Jerry Flynn still in there, and hard work now. Hooks him up. Oh, Jerry Flynn's on him down. Got a two count. You know, you talk about world-famous venues all over the world, like the Omni in Atlanta like the Coliseum in Charlotte. And I'll tell you something, all these new buildings, MCI Arena, beautiful facility. But it seems ironic that the Cow Palace should be the home of this one. Hogan Sting, one man will walk away, heavyweight champion of the world, and it'll be from the historic Cow Palace of San Francisco. The Alabama Jam, that big leg drop in the 
Mike Chubb and Bobby Eaton and hard work Bobby Walker get the win on WCW Worldwide Wrestling. Some Bobby Eaton fans out there. Hard work Bobby Walker appreciating this game. And some on tell. Oh, that's Teddy Long. Oh, that's Teddy Long. Long. You know that. Right? I couldn't tell with the glasses. You know, when Clark Kent wears those glasses, I can't tell the difference between him and uh, Superman. Can you? Shut up. Do the replay. Bobby Eaton here snatches Jerry Flynn and a swinging neck breaker. The Alabama Jam off the top rope. And your winner, a masterful Bobby Eaton. When we come back, Marty Jannetty makes his worldwide debut and much more as we head to Super Bowl next Sunday. The Ninja Jerry Springer.